Look at this guy. What an absolute beast. Yo, what up, what up, what up? Native Raider here. Got another Titan build for you to check out and have some fun with. I got a request a few videos ago to do a Lorely Splendor build, and you know, of course I gotta do one. And if you guys ever wanna request me to do a build, just leave it down in the comments below, and I will do my best to put together something that's fun and unique. But uh, this one right here, this is a Lorely Splendor build, and it's not your typical one. It will still make you damn near fun kill. Even with the recent nerf to this beautiful exotic helmet, but it will also make you an absolute ad clear machine with grenade launchers. So with that said, I'm calling it the immortal noob tuber. So without further ado, let's get it. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man. Alright y'all, so it is still September. I'm rocking a gold shader, as should you. We're doing it to support cancer awareness, so please rock your gold shaders. This one here is Callus Treasured. Let's jump into this build. And starting with the super, I'm running Hammer of Soul. I love Hammer of Soul. It's just fun. You can switch it up if you want to. Go ahead and put on Burning Maul if you so choose. For the class ability, I got Rallying Barricade. We are using Lorely Splendor, which consumes your class ability. So having the lower cooldown at 32 seconds versus 40 helps you proc it a lot faster. I'll also got strafe lift i got throwing hammer of course and this one's interesting i got fireball grenade i switched up this is not the most popular grenade but i like it it's got the lowest cooldown and actually once you get your roaring flames times three it does good damage it's great for ad clear for aspects i got soul invictus gotta have those sunspots and roaring flames like i said before moving on down to the fragments i got ember of singeing where your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets which is nice that pairs in well being already low at 32 that pairs it and uh synergy 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 that's what we want in builds okay and then we got ember of solace radiant restoration effects applied have increased duration and then i have ember of wonder rapidly defeating multiple targets with solar ignitions generate an orb of power plus 10 in brazil and ember of torches powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant and now moving into the weapons top slot i got weather horde the exotic grenade launcher i got the new auto rifle amit ar2 this has got incandescent well rounded i also threw a backup mag mod on it just to give it that little bit more of a magazine sitting at 38 and then cry mutiny the pinnacle grenade launcher that we get this season it is super fun to play with and it does roll incandescent incandescent on a grenade launcher with warple throw a boss fag to do boss damage on top of it is pretty nasty all right moving over to armor first up we got lower leaf splinter helm that's what this build is all based around that and grenade launchers if you don't know what this does basically when you're critically injured you will consume your barricade and create a sunspot at your location with improved restoration effects so this is what keeps you alive for a long time you're about to die and boom this kicks in as long as your class ability is up and that's why we're running a lot of things to help improve our class ability within this build and then moving over to the mods we got grenade launcher ammo finder got harmonic siphon or rapid final blows matching our subclass will create an orb of power two of our weapons are obviously solar so we're going to create these quite a bit and then well of life picking up an elemental well a solar elemental well will increase the regeneration for a short period of time. And now moving into the gauntlets. First up, we got Bolstering Detonation. This gives you class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Remember, we got the lowest cooldown grenade, the Firebolt Grenade. We don't gotta get kills, we just gotta get damage. And that will give us class ability energy, which in turn feeds Lorely's Splendor Helm. And then same thing with this one, Focusing Strike. This is a seasonal artifact mod, and this does the same thing, gives you class ability energy, but when you get damaged with a melee attack. And what are we running? hammers of course so we're gonna constantly be procking both of these at the same time and then when you do get a kill with that hammer guess what melee well maker will also give you a solar elemental well which in turn will proc the well of life giving us regeneration that you saw on the helm and now for the glorious chest armor that we have here we got thermal shock plating reducing the incoming solar and arc damage from combatants we got gl reserves of course and elemental charge becoming charged with light when we pick up our elemental wells giving us two stacks charge of light we're getting that from two different sources the one you just saw with the melee well maker and another one you'll see soon on the mark and now moving on to the leg armor first up we got gl scavenger giving us more ammo per brick when we pick it up insulation Reduces the class ability cooldown each time we pick up an orb of power. Remember, we're making orbs of power with harmonic siphon on our helmet and also ember of wonder fragment. And then we got this little gem called protective light. 
and this is a just in case we can't get our lower lease to proc anymore we have no more class ability energy we got this one and it gives you significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed and finally we come to our mark we got distribution reducing all ability cooldowns when using your class ability near targets and then utility kickstart when we use our class ability we'll gain class ability energy and then elemental ordinance when we get a kill with our grenade we're gonna get another solar elemental well and remember that will also proc well of life on our helmet and elemental charge as well and before we jump into the gameplay just go over the stats real quick got mobility five tier doesn't really matter not worried about that one resilience you want that as high as possible it's 10 tier 40 percent damage reduction plus you get your shield a lot faster at 10 tier recovery doesn't really matter either as we have so much going on with getting our you know regeneration back all the time and then discipline got that as high as nine try to get it to 10 if you can you want to be throwing those grenades all the time add clear yes but also for the mod synergy that rebuilds into our lordly splendor helm and then intellect doesn't matter lots of orbs of power we'll get our super fast enough and then finally we got strength it's tier two we got throwing hammers just don't miss your throwing hammer you can pick it right back up you got your melee so with that let's get into the gameplay All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. This build honestly might be the funnest I've done so far. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this build or how we can make it even better. And also don't hesitate to let me know what you wanna see next. And if you did enjoy that video, please hammer strike that like, shoot that sub, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.